When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child, thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away my childish ways. It is that time now for this couple next to me. It is time for them to make that transition from childhood to adulthood, from innocence to maturity. It is time for them to make a lifelong commitment to our Amish way of life. Are you ready to make that commitment? Yes. Can you renounce the devil, the world, and your own flesh and blood? Yes. Can you commit to Christ and his church and abide by it, therein to live and to die? Yes. I baptize thee as a testimony that you have entered into a covenant to serve God and his church for all eternity. Now that these two young people have entered into a lifelong commitment to the church, I think they're ready to make another lifelong commitment. Am I right? Yes. Tell us, when is the wedding? This summer. We're uh, getting married in the summer. You have the support of the entire community and we'll always be there to watch over you. Come on. So I guess it's our turn next, right, Hannah? Hannah! I have to go, Samuel. Okay. Come on, we have to get this stuff into town. Gosh, we're gonna get soaked. Hey, you guys need a ride or something? Actually, no, but thank you. You sure? You're gonna get wet. Really, we can't. Thank you. Sit yourself. Why can't we have a ride? That's not our way, Beth. You know that. Come on. I'll race you home, it'll be fun. <laughs> Why don't we take a break? Where are the others? I guess it's just you and me. We're not supposed to be alone together, Samuel. We could get punished. But we're not alone. We're surrounded by the birds and the bees. Very funny. Woo! <laughs> they said yes! They said yes! I can't believe it! Los Angeles! We're going to Los Angeles! What are you talking about? We thought there was no way they'd say yes. Yeah. Our parents, I mean. But we figured let's at least try. Yeah, and I mean, just thought what's worse that could happen, we should just try and we ask. As a group to our parents. Do you know what's going on? I have no idea. Okay, one more time, slowly. What in the world are you talking about? We're talking about Rum Springer! Rum Springer, we're going! We're going to Los Angeles for Rum Springer. <laughs> What is Rum Springer? It's Rum Springer, and eat your carrots. In the Amish community, when a boy or a girl reach a certain age, they must make the most important decision of their lives. Will they be baptized into the church and accept our way of life, or will they adopt the modern ways of the outside world? It's an exercise in free will. 
To do so, they are able to experience life outside of the church, drive a car, wear modern clothes, go and live with the outsiders, the English, if they so choose. And it's not my place to find fault with the customs of the church, but that being said, if you play with fire, you will get burnt. Don't you wish you were going to Los Angeles? I don't know. Sounds like fun to me. Instead of listening to God, Jonah decided he would run away from Nineveh and not do what the Lord commanded of him. So he fled to the seashore, and there he found a ship that would sail him far, far away. But soon, after the boat set sail, a terrible storm rose up and began tossing the boat this way and that. The sailors were very afraid. Why would God do this to us, they asked. Soon, they realized that Jonah had brought this upon them by disobeying what the Lord had commanded. Why don't we finish this tomorrow? Mom was better at reading stories. That was three years ago. You don't even remember that. I do so remember. Good night, Gabe. Sweet dreams. How many of you here today chose to experience Rum Springer when you were the same age as these young people in the front row here? Well, as you can see, it's a long-standing tradition in our community and one which has served us well. For respect is gained when trust is earned. And we feel confident that you will earn that trust. As these people venture forth into the world, we fear not for them. For we know that we, as a community, have instilled values in them, both spiritual and temporal, that will protect them, keep them from harm and temptation on this long voyage. Values like integrity, honesty, reverence, trust, patience, sacrifice. These are the values we know lie deep in your heart. They are the source of our trust in you. Let us take up our hymnals. Number 438. Onward Christian Soldiers. Onward Christian Soldiers, marching as to war, with the cross of Jesus going on before. Christ the Royal Master leads again. Samuel, when would we ever have this chance again? What is it that you're so interested in seeing? Mansions and movie stars? You know I don't care about those things. I thought we wanted the same things, to be baptized and get married. Don't you still want that? Yes. Yes, that's always been the plan, yes. <sighs> Samuel, don't be angry. I'm not angry, I just... I don't understand why you'd want to leave this. Why don't you come too? We'd have so much fun together. No, my place is here, Hannah. It's your place too. I hope you remember that. I wish you'd come with me.
Seemed to have broke in a button. Uh, I, mean, I lost it. I mean, look here, look here. It's it's missing. Okay. I'll tell Beth to find a spare and fix it for you tomorrow. Beth can't sew. So... I'm sure she can. She's not very good at it. All right. If you give me the shirt, I'll fix it for you tomorrow. But you're packing. You're packing and leaving, and, and, and Beth can't do it. Father, it's just a button. No, it's not just a button. It... I'm not sure this is a good time for you to be traveling across the country. Father. Everything that happens for you, your siblings, it's my responsibility. Yes, Father. You remind me so much of your mother. She was so very free-spirited. She got her mind set on something. That's what she was going to do. I'm sure you argue it all the time. No. No, we did not. You may not have my blessing, but you most certainly would have had hers. You promise me you'll be careful. Yes. I will, Father, I promise. And you can fix this for me before you leave? Yes. Tonight. Thank you. Mr. Yoder, is Hannah ready to go? Is everybody ready? Let's go, let's go! Coming. You. Hannah, we gotta go. Let's go. I'll miss you too. Goodbye, Samuel. Don't forget to write to us. Hannah, let's go. I'll call you from the phone booth in town. When? At midnight, so you'll be sure to be home. Wait, midnight here or midnight there? Midnight here. That's too late for you. <laughs> it's fine. Let's go!
You want taxi? This is not a taxi. What do you mean? Taxis are yellow. Yes or no? Let's go already. Neat. Hello. Would you mind taking us to this address, please? You on city streets or freeway? Uh, pardon me? You have maybe 20 minute window uh, before 405 becomes a total parking lot. So we can take Pico, but there's construction at Bundy, so you choose. What was the first thing you said? I thought riding in a car would be more fun. Television. Look at the pool. There's a pool. Check out the kitchen. Hey, let's find the bedrooms. Oh my God. Next thing on the agenda, we're getting some new clothes. Get ready for the change up. When you're living in Hollywood, hold on to what you came with. I think this is underwear. Imagine if the elder saw me wearing this. Yeah, you should find something else. Mary, it's see through. It's cute though. Uh. Ooh, yes, please. What is this? Hannah, get some clothes. I'm good. So, what do we want to do tonight? There's a place that's 10 minutes from here and it's all ages. Or we can go to the Greek theater and hear a band. Or we could try to go back to Hollywood and sneak into a nightclub. Yeah, I want to do that. Let's sneak into a nightclub. I think I'm just going to stay in tonight. Are you kidding me? Come on, Hannah. Let's have some fun. I know. It's just Samuel said he was going to call and I want to be here when he does. OK. Let's go to Hollywood. Fun, you guys, and be safe. Be tired. Yeah, I am, but I really wanted to talk to you. So did I. So, how is Los Angeles? It's kind of amazing, I have to admit. Yeah? Yeah. We saw the sights today. We drove around in a van that they had cut the top off of. Wait, what? Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, we just drove around and saw a bunch of stuff. It was really cool. We saw the Chinese theater, you know, where all the actors put their hands in the concrete. Chinese actors? 
No, it's not actually Chinese. Okay, I, 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 don't, I don't understand. It's, it's just a famous theater. It's okay. It doesn't matter. It's, uh, it's pretty cold out here. Yeah. You should probably go. Call you in a few days? That'd be really nice. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. I think I'm all set. Okay. Yeah. Morning. Hey! Mary, you want some toast? You okay, Mary? Oh, yeah. Of course. You know that underage drinking is against the law, right? Thanks, Mother. I'm serious. If you get into trouble, it reflects on all of us. <sighs> At least I was having fun. We've been here a week and you haven't even changed your clothes. Maybe I like dressing this way. <laughs> yeah. Fine. You want me to change my clothes? I want you to participate. This is our one chance to have fun in the real world. You got a point? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, how do we do that? Okay, last night, I talked to these college guys, <laughs> and they invited me to a party. And okay. we're, we're all going. It's tonight. Right, Hannah? Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-mm. No. Okay. No way. You're gonna look like a movie star. Uh-uh. Sorry. What is this? Why are they big lips like that? I don't know. Was I right? Beautiful. I can't believe it. Are you ready to do this? Yes, let's do it. Can we go? Yeah. Haven't we already had this conversation? Okay. Fine. You stay here and have a really good time. I'm gonna get a taxi back to the house. What happened? 
happened? I, um, I, I don't know. I, I tripped on something. You know what? It, it, it's okay. I, I think I can fix it. I'm so, so sorry. No, seriously. I, it's my fault. I should have taped the wires down. What's your name? I'm Hannah. I'm Josh. I, I've never seen you here before. This is my first party. Ah, first party at the house? No, I mean anywhere. Come on. So all these computers are yours? Uh, yeah. Computer science. It's my major. I'm actually finishing up my thesis this summer. It's an operating system that links both existing and non-interfacing OSs on the market. Linux, HTML, Unix. Are you a techie? I've never actually used a computer in my life. Okay, so you've never been to a party and you've never used a computer. Do you live in space? Are you, are you from outer space? <laughs> no. I'm from Pennsylvania. Huh? I'm Amish. Oh. Yeah. Did you fix it? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think it just, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, it seems to be working just fine. So you're not just a musician then, huh? Well, I, I DJ for fun, but I make my music on this beast right here. On a computer? Yeah. You don't need, I don't know, instruments? No, no, I sample. Uh, I'll show you, what, what's your favorite song? Um, I don't wanna say, it's okay. Why not? You'll laugh, it's really old. <laughs> You're looking at a guy who still listens to music that was written in the 80s. What's the name of the song? Random Bird Concerto Number no. Six by J.S. Bach. It was written in the 1700s. Okay, so like the 1780s. That's cool. <laughs> we'll go with that. <laughs> All right, let's add a couple pads. Get a beat. A couple of synths. What do you think? It's amazing. <laughs> Anna? Oh, hi. Well, hi. Are you ready to go? Um, um I can I can drive you back later if you want. That'd be great. I'll see you guys back at the house. Have fun, Hannah. Hmm. No, thanks. I don't get people who say they don't like Los Angeles. I mean, yeah, the traffic is horrible and the air is very unhealthy. And my car has been broken into twice just this month, and I have forgotten my point. I like it too. I mean, I've barely explored any of it yet, but I like it. Well, maybe we can go exploring together. Josh, I should tell you I'm sort of engaged to be married. His name's Samuel. You're sort of engaged? What does that mean? It's kind of always been the plan since we were kids. Whose plan? His, I guess, and mine, too. Oh. Well, the offer still stands. Thank you. So, tell me, what would you be doing right now if you were back home in Pennsylvania? 
I don't know. What time is it? 5.30. 5.30, I'd be getting up to do the milking. <laughs> Sorry, I, I just, I knew you were gonna say that. You did? It's like the sum total of what I know about farming. You have to get up early to do the milking. And after that, I hurry home to make breakfast for my family and get my little brother and sister ready for school. You do that by yourself? Mm hmm All before the sun even comes up. After that, I usually start work in the fields, feed the livestock, clean the stalls, and then do all the normal housework. So cooking, cleaning, laundry. Wait, you do all of this by yourself? Yes, every day. What are you, a servant? Excuse me? I'm serious. Do you ever have time to do whatever you want to do? What makes you think I'm not doing what I want? Well, the fact that you took a vacation from it, for one. Why are you criticizing me? No, I'm not. I... Just because I don't throw crazy parties every night, is that it? Hannah, you don't get married just because you decided to when you were a kid. You can't be a servant in your own home just because of what others expect from you. That's crazy. It's your life. Do what you want with it. Three years ago, my mother passed away. Not that it's any of your business. It was really hard in our family, especially my little brother. So if that means I have to work a little harder just to make sure they're okay, that's what I'll do. That's what I want to do. Yeah, I, I'm so sorry. It's fine. You said you could take me back? Yeah, of course. Hey, Hannah, you know this thing can hold thousands of songs? That's great, Isaac. <laughs> So, was it a match made in heaven? Hardly. That's too bad. You know the guy I was talking to? He's ridiculous. I literally think he'd move back to Pennsylvania with me if I asked him to. <laughs> Happy for you, Mary. All right, come on, you guys. Let's visit the food trucks on Wilshire. I heard they're amazing. Actually, I'm gonna go out with Lisa. That's the girl I met at the party last night, so. And I got asked to go check out the observatory? It's supposed to be really mind-blowing. Fine. Looks like it's just you and me, Hannah. I'm gonna get it. Hi. Hey. Listen, I just wanted to apologize again for last night. You were right. I was rude. It's fine. Can I make it up to you somehow? Can I take you out for coffee? I don't drink coffee. A martini? <laughs> Strictly as friends. Strictly as friends. Now, I've read that the Amish only drink black coffee. So, this is your basic unfiltered coffee brewed in what's called a French press. Now, the beans are from Guatemala, but they're roasted right here in the shop, so they're super fresh, has sort of a velvety texture. Now also, you'll notice these uh, various subtle flavors like chocolate, black cherry, brown sugar. Drink up. People drink this? <laughs> Guilty. Guilty for what? For having fun. This is what you look like when you're having fun? 
this yeah. it? Is this the one? No. Is this the face I can't? Stop. <laughs> okay, so what town are you from? Lancaster? Yeah. Okay. So you just type it in here like this. kidding me? Pretty cool, huh? How did... Who takes the pictures? The government. CIA. Really? Yeah. Might be the FBI, but... <laughs> you are the worst. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is an oolong tea. I think you're gonna like it. No, this has gone bad. I'm serious. It smells like the compost pile up behind our barn. It's for you. What? Hello? Hey. I got your cell phone. Josh, I can't take it's this. It's my old phone. It didn't cost me anything. Come on, we can share my minutes. OK. So you want to invite your friends over tomorrow night? Another wild party? Nope, just dinner. Can you cook? <laughs> can I cook? Is that even a question? The poli sci department's really strong. I took a few courses myself. But you should also check out the sociology department. Like this? Moment of truth. Oh. Thank you. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Mim. It's not the raccoon meat I'm used to, but it's good. Raccoon meat? I don't even know why I talk to you. You're not that funny. This is a mocha. It's, it's sugar in a cup. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You like that one? Yeah, I like it. It's good. It's good. I hope you don't mind my asking, sir, but have you heard from Hannah lately? I received a letter a week ago, but after that... I was thinking about going into town tonight and calling her on the telephone. Would you like to come with me? Yes. Yes, I would. This is too expensive, Josh. Please. You're only here for one more week. I wanted to take you to at least one really great place. Every place you've taken me has been really great. <laughs> so, you know what you want to order? I wish I knew French. <laughs> You know, I'm planning to go there, actually. To France? I mean, I have a job lined up after graduation, but I want to travel first. And not just to France. I'm going to buy a rail pass and travel all over Europe. Wow. That's so great. When I was little, the book I read the most was probably this old atlas. Wow. Well, Yes, the second most. Anna, why don't you come with me? We can go exploring together. We're good at that. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine, don't... Decide what I want. Hello? 
Hello? Hannah? No, sorry, it's just Mary. This is Samuel, is Hannah there? She's out. At this hour? Well, she didn't exactly ask my permission. <laughs> Mary, is, is Hannah... Is everything okay? Well, that's a big question, isn't it? Look, can you just tell her that we called her father and I, we haven't heard from her in a couple days, and we got worried? Okay, sure. Hey, Samuel? Yeah? You don't have to hang up. You can talk to me instead. <clears throat> Please tell Hannah that we called. Thank you. She wasn't there. Talk to me. Hey, how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm fine. Why do you ask? You've been in your bed for the past couple of days. I was just asking. Just feeling a little run down. Well, uh, Lisa and I were gonna go check out a couple of museums. Do you wanna come with us? I'm just gonna stay here. Okay. Let's go.
I can't believe you're here. I wanted to remember our time together. So did I. You're here for one more day. Spend it with me. Strictly as friends. Is that what you want? No. When do you leave? Taxi's going to pick us up at 6 a.m. We have a few hours left. Can we not talk about it? Hey. We had a great time. Today was perfect. I know it was. It's not that. What is it then? I don't want to go back. I don't want to be baptized into the church and I don't want to get married. You don't have to. I don't? No, Hannah, you don't. This is your life. Where would I go? Where would I live? You could do anything you want. That's so easy for you to say, Josh. All right. You want something concrete? How about this? You stay here. You live with me. Sort of like you, you know. a new day. Josh, could you please get up? The taxi's coming to the house in half an hour. What? The taxi. It's the train station. We talked about it last night. We also talked about you staying here in Los Angeles. I have to go home and say goodbye first. Hannah, you don't have to go all the way across the country to do that. I can't just call Samuel on the phone and tell him that the wedding is off. And my family, too? What about my siblings? If I'm going to leave, I have to do this the right way. Otherwise, I'll be cut off forever and I'll never have the chance to say goodbye. Please understand this.
have fun last night? I'm gonna go get my suitcase. So, Union Station? Isaac, let's go! Um, look, I'm not going back. I'm gonna stay here with Lisa and uh, I'm gonna go to school and I'm changing my life. Wish me luck. Thank the Lord. Hi, Find me asleep. It's been a long day for me, too. I guess I didn't realize just how much it is you do for this family, Anna. You ever felt unappreciated? Hey, your mother was much better at this sort of talk than I am. That's nice to hear. Well, I best be off to bed. <clears throat> Can we go somewhere else and talk? Okay, I wanna show you something, come on. We're almost there. We're almost where? Where are you taking me? You'll see. Oh. What is this? This'll be our home. I found the perfect spot while you were gone. 
I get the foundation laid before the frost, I can work through the winter and have the house finished by springtime. Samuel? No, no, I know, I know. It's a lot of work. But we also have a lot of help. The whole church is behind us. Hey, guess what I just looked at? The cheapest apartment in all of Los Angeles, and it's perfect for us. Hi, Josh. Uh-oh. What's wrong? All I said was hi. And I think I can read your tone by now. This is harder than I thought. Did something happen? Um, Samuel is building a house for us. How very industrious of him. Don't be mean. When are you gonna tell him? I don't know. You don't know? Josh, it's complicated. Okay, my father could barely manage things when I was gone. The harvest is coming Hannah. in. Hannah! What? Are you coming or not? Yes. Wow. I said yes, Josh. Like I said, I think I can read your tone by now. I have to go. Where are you? ask you a question. Okay. Do you still want this? Josh, you know I do. No, I don't. I keep looking for the right time to say I'm leaving, but it's hard. Hannah, it's been a month. It's been a month? A month, Hannah. What am I supposed to think? Okay. You're right. You mean that? I'll talk to Father today. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Father, I need to talk to you. Is this about your brother? Is he not doing his homework again? No, he's fine. Well, you stay on him. You know how his mind can wander. You okay?
how's your house coming along? Good. The foundation is nearly finished. You work so hard. Hannah must be so grateful. She works hard, too. I bet there's not a single guy in all of Los Angeles who would treat her so well. <laughs> what are you talking about? Not that she doesn't deserve it. She's so pretty. Did something happen in Los Angeles? How would I know that? I hardly saw her. She was always out. All I'm saying is, she must be so grateful. I know I would be. Sins committed in darkness will find the light. For that is the nature of sin. It, it spreads. It corrupts all those it touches. Paul writes to the Corinthians, it leavens us unto malice and wickedness. Recently, several of our young people traveled a long journey across country to attend Rim Springer. Of course, we were worried about them, but we trusted them to stay true in the word. Sadly, our trust was betrayed. So I must inform you all now, one of our young people entered into a sinful relationship while away, a relationship with a a faithless person, a social radical, a drug user, a person who's never known the comfort of a strong family and community. Paul concludes his letter to the Corinthians with this exhortation. Drive out the wicked person from among you, for that is the only way you can stop the spread of sin. So, in accordance with this gospel, we do now shun young Isaac Fisher from our church and our homes from this day forth. Quite a spectacle you made at church. There's something I have to tell you. You had a boyfriend in Los Angeles. How did you know? <laughs> Maybe I'm not as simple as you think I am. Well, there's something else. Well, it can't get any worse. Yes, it can. I'm pregnant. I was just thinking about when you married Mother. I mean, what made her the right choice for you? Why, why her and not someone else? Why are you asking such silly questions? I'm sorry. Samuel is a good boy. He'll take good care of you. I'm going to be shunned just like Isaac. I should just go home and pack right now. And go where? Back to Los Angeles? The Devil's Playground? He said I could live with him. 
Did he know you were pregnant when he made that offer? No. You think he wants a baby? Of course he doesn't. He will make you do something horrible. He wouldn't do that. Oh, come on, Hannah. You used to be the smart one. What happened to you? Stop it. He will want nothing to do with you and you will be stuck. No job, no money, and a baby on the way. Stop it, Samuel. You're just trying to make me feel worse. There is one thing we can do. We can say the baby is mine. That's not funny. We will get married right away. And I will be the father. You would do that? No one will ever know. You'll be safe. The baby will be raised Amish. Everything will be as it should. Why are you so good to me? You really don't know? I'm so sorry, Samuel. We'll have to talk to our families and choose a date. And I need to talk to Josh. Josh. The father. Perfect timing. Guess where I am right now? I don't know. I am sitting at our table at the coffee shop, drinking something you would absolutely hate. Josh, I have to talk to you about something. There's no whipped cream, no sugar. It's extremely bitter. Barista's dream cup. I won't be returning to Los Angeles. What are you talking about? I'm not coming back, Josh. What do you mean, why? And it's only fair to tell you that I'm pregnant. You what? I won't be asking anything of you. We only knew each other for a few weeks. Hannah! I'll raise the child here with Samuel. I just thought you had a right to know. Slow down. There's nothing else to say, Josh. Bye. something once and then this. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry! So sorry. Thank you.
Was that really Mother's wedding dress? Apparently it was. It fits you perfectly. <laughs> Just about. Maybe I'll wear that dress one day. You shouldn't be in a hurry to get married. I pictured something simpler. You shouldn't be here. You're right. I should be in Los Angeles, and you should be there with me. Hannah? Who is this? Mr. Yoder, I'm Josh. Why did you come here, and what do you want? Hannah, can we speak privately? We don't allow that. Of course. We don't allow cars on our property. I apologize, sir, but I have driven a very long way to see Hannah. He said no. Don't you have ears? Samuel, please. This is Samuel. And this is Josh. Well, this is awkward. Then why don't you turn around and go home? Not before I say this. Hannah, the world is huge, and it's wonderful, and it's scary, and it's endlessly interesting. Let's see it together. Come with me. This is her world. How could you ask her to give it up? Because that's not what she wants. It is exactly what she wants. Stop! Stop talking for me, both of you! You're right. You tell them. Tell them the truth. Enough! You don't belong here. Leave us. Let us be. I can't imagine how hard this is for you, Hannah. I can't. But if it means anything at all, and I'm not sure it does at this point, I kind of sort of like you. I love you, Hannah. I love you. disappointed with you today. Please don't say that. She was a free spirit. But she never strayed from the church. Yes. 
I don't measure up to her. I'm well aware. Well, you try and see it through my eyes. Why would a boy act that way? He knows your situation. It's more complicated than you think. No, Hannah, it's not. Tomorrow, you will be baptized into the church. The day after, you will be married. It's quite simple. Hey, Samuel. Good morning. Such a beautiful day. Mm -hmm. Carriage is ready. You go ahead, Father. I'd like to walk to the lake alone. Make sure you leave on time. As years go by, you'll look back on this wonderful day with awe. How frivolous life used to be. How meaningful it has become since. It's a new day. We need to get started. Hannah should be along any moment, I'm sure. Samuel! Samuel! I'm sorry, Samuel. Don't do this, Hannah. It's a mistake. This is what I want. What you want? That's all you ever think about. You are never grateful for anything. I was willing to take care of your child as my own, and you still want more! Tell me this isn't true. I'm sorry, Father. I know you're disappointed in me. I'm afraid it's much worse than that. It's gonna be okay. You take care of Gabe. You take care of yourself. Hannah Yoder. From this day forth, you were shunned from our church and from our homes. You may never step foot on this land again.
had no choice. Going to open it? Don't you have chores to do? Yes, Father. Father, I thought you might be interested in seeing this picture of your granddaughter. She was born three days ago. Six pounds, seven ounces. Josh and I have moved into a new apartment, someplace quiet, and Josh's parents are helping out with that. Pretty soon, I'll go back to my job at the coffee shop. And I hope to take some night classes later when we have a little money saved up. Josh is a good dad. I wish you could see this side of him. I understand you may never forgive us, but I wanted you to know that we're happy and doing okay. By the way, we named our daughter after mom. Her name is Ruth. <laughs> 